Tibbers, Tibets, and of course, crazy people. Well, the one, the only, the myth, the man, the legend is back, Goldfinger. And he's got some exciting updates for you and something that will help those that are possibly thinking about moving here to the Philippines for the first time, along with another special project that he's about to undertake. All right, so stay tuned, and here comes our goofy little video. Okay, well, as promised in the introduction, I'm here with our favorite guest of all time. <laughs> Hello, the one, the only infamous <laughs> Goldfinger. And I know, already I know, better than to try to talk. So, <laughs> I, I, I think if I make it through the introduction, I'm cool, and I, he's got something up his sleeve. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure he'll be happy to share with you. I, so, I, okay. Actually, it's a really good day. See, I'm wearing green. I got, I got green shorts on, and I'll show you my underwear. No, I do have green underwear, and I already found money today. I, want, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to have to hold it really close. It's five centavos I found this morning. I'm rich. It takes a hundred of them to make one peso. <laughs> I gave that when I was first here. I was just telling him that I had about four or five of those in my right. pocket. And a kid came up begging, saying he was hungry. Yeah. And I gave him five of those and he threw them <laughs> yeah. in the street. Yeah. Even the kid do better than you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, and they're pretty much worthless. They throw, yeah. they throw the centavos yeah. away. You but you know them. what though? I met a little lady and her and I were having a snack about a month later and I brought that topic up and she looked at me stone cold and she says it's still money you have you cannot make a peso without a hundred so they do have Jewish Filipinos and yes they do <laughs> yes they do because every penny count my yarmulke should have been the giveaway <laughs> my dad would never step over a penny on the ground I remember that a penny a day you know all right, so what do you got going on now? The new project. So oh, boy, here helmets, we go. Helmets were great. The problem is the kids won't wear them. The helmets. I, the helmets. And, and I, I've tried and tried with the helmets, and I've said, okay, we need a new gig here, okay? Something that will help the kids. And I happened to visit one school, this last school, and they had a computer room, and the principal said to me, hey, you know, can you help us with, with uh, computers or tablets? And I says, well, I don't do that. I do helmets. I says, but why don't you show me? Now, this was, I go into this room, and they have these seven-inch tablets. They had 25 of them set up. Half of them worked. Okay? They have, their classes rooms are 40. I don't even know what a tablet is. Okay, so Does we're going to show you. it have to be connected to We're going to show you a tablet. Or what? So it, it can be connected to internet. It doesn't have to be. Is it like this a notepad a for kids to write on? I, it, I don't it's know. It's everything that a laptop will do. Okay. It's just smaller. All right, but it, you don't have to have an internet connection. You don't have to. You can as download as apps. Okay, so you it does have a battery, but you can plug it in. Okay. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and this particular one, which I'm showing, has a keyboard, okay? Has a, a stand that'll keep it stood, <coughs> stood up, which also covers it. And then uh, it's, it comes, I'm, buy, I'm, getting them from, I'm getting them from Amazon, okay? And they're, they're, they're very affordable, even has a mouse and all wireless and a stylus for drawing and uh, I decided we're going to switch to tablets and uh, uh, for the for uh, computer classrooms for the elementaries and you have a particular school is it the same school you did the helmets with or? yes yes the same school I did the helmets with a year ago and so how many kids are we talking about well there's 700 kids now there was five there's now 700 kids the schools are growing here okay there's 40 kids per classroom so uh, my project was to uh, get 25 tablets, okay, yeah. to uh, set them up. I'm going to have uh, expats come to help me set it up. I'm not technically knowledgeable about laptops, tablets, well, I don't even computers. know what the hell the thing is. Okay, well, they're like a mini, like a mini um, uh, laptop. Okay. Okay, and, then, and, they, and I'm going to set them up. I'm going to put power strips. They have tables. I'm going to put power strips in, and I'm, I'm acquiring a large screen smart TV so the whole classroom can see what the, what the principal's doing, and the principal himself will get a new um, uh, laptop so he can control everything. He can control all the tablets. The tablets will have to require permission for anything to be downloaded or sent. 
it has to go through him so that there's restrictions on all the tab all 25 tablets. So are the tablets going to stay in the classroom? The tablets will stay in the classroom. The classroom is secure. They're not going home with the kids. No. So they, a kid's not getting a tablet. No. The school is. The okay. school is. But they're going to they're going to bring them in for a couple hours, different classrooms every day, uh, and it's going to be I don't know what grades they're teaching, but I'm I'm having Carolyn, my fiance, download multiple apps for all grades. Because she does teaching. She does teach it. She's and a tutor. Also, one thing Goldfinger hasn't mentioned, but I will, is every Saturday oh, or so. Right. Every other Saturday. Every other Saturday, he feeds the neighborhood kids. Yeah. And then his fiance, Carolyn, she does, they have a class. They have a classroom. Where they talk about countries and they name animals and, so and she, they count numbers may, no, and she's, all that. She's camera shy. She may be a list of all the things she puts on the, on the laptop. And there's a lot of things puzzles, solar system. Uh, uh, sight words uh, for lower for lower age kids to to learn brain training math word search word collect coloring apps even instruments so every 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 uh, tablet can have a different instrument they can have a string instrument an instrument a, a horn instrument uh, uh, or or a, a keyboard wow. so they can have a music class and, yeah. and they have and on the on the big screen TV trying to acquire a 75 inch on the big screen TV they can show them how and teach them music as well. So you uh, don't need necessarily 700 tablets. You just need enough to fill up one can share. classroom? They can share two, two kids to a tablet. Okay. And they need updated. The stuff they have, the, the seven inch ones they have are over 10 years old. Oh wow. They're, they're very slow. They can't, uh, they only have 32 gigabytes. These, these all have 256 gigabytes. So they can put a lot more stuff on there, a lot more apps. The newest apps work faster for math and English and. Uh, so a lot more on all grades, from, from first grade all the way through sixth grade. And uh, we're going to set up uh, six per table. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to have four big tables. I'm going to put power strips in. I've ordered the power strips. Uh, we're acquiring the smart screen TV. Uh, we're, we're, uh, uh, I started ordering the tablets. This, this is the first one. I wanted to get one, one, one uh, that already has some preloaded stuff, but Carolyn's adding more. And then uh, this will work out great. They're, they're not too bad. Now the whole project is gonna cost estimated at 300,000, okay? We're halfway there. Oh, okay. We're halfway there, okay? So it's, it's doable. And the idea is to surprise them, and we have a December 18th date to surprise the school, the children, you're going to be there. You'll be filming it right. uh, for for Christmas. So this Thank is you like for volunteering me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be found, there. I just found out what I'm doing yeah. December 18th. Yep. <laughs> we got it. We got the date yesterday. I, I let the school know that we have a big surprise for them. I didn't I'll want to tell them what trip. it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't want to tell them what it was, but I told them we have a big surprise because I toured their their IT room and it's it's pretty bad. Uh, okay. They have, and, and they any updated stuff and. And their tablets now don't have keyboards or mouse or, or, or any of the applications. I tried turning one on. It took forever just to start to start up. And, and how many guys do you have helping you with this endeavor? Well, I, I'm going to put out... Because you're uh, always I, spearheading this. But I do. So but what I started there's was... There's always guys that jump on the bandwagon with you. Yes, there are. So luckily, through your channel, I have met a lot of people through the e-book I created. Okay? I love the fact that, that he created an e-book. Because now people call me with questions, and I just give them. <laughs> yeah. I just say, "Oh, just ask Jim Finger." <laughs> yeah. I have a I have a, a very complete ebook I created, and I have about two thousand people's emails that I send. I started sending out emails requesting help, uh, if they'd like to help, uh, it, and for the endeavor. Uh, and then uh, I still. It takes a long time to send out two thousand emails. Okay, because. Better it just you does. Me, I, I'm just take, so I put Carolyn on it. <laughs> we keep passing the potato. She does. She does a hundred a day. So I haven't. I think we're up to letter K or L. And okay. your ebook is sort of a beginner's guide for the Philippines. Yes. Kind of uh, like a Dumaguete for a dummies or it's, something yeah, like that. Yeah, Dumaguete for dummies. It's a newbies. It's all about what you could do before you get here, uh, how you could prepare, what you should bring, uh, depending on whether you're coming, uh, you know, just to check it out or you're coming for long term, it talks about shipping Balak Beyond Box, it talks about visas, it talks about uh, what you need uh, in clothing, in, in money, 
Uh, Transferring money. Yeah, talks all about banking, uh, everything. Uh, driver's even, licenses. Everything, and including where to get the best flights information. Okay. When to fly, when's the best dates to fly, what the weather's like during certain months, and when, where to get hotels, what, expect, what, what their costs uh, uh, may be, how to expect what costs are, and, and good ideas like come for 30 days. You can't really understand the Philippines if you come for 30 days. We talked about this before. Right. You need about 90 days. Right. Okay? Right. But you're not going to rent an apartment for 90 days. Most people won't rent to you by the month. Right. So you're going to get a hotel. So it lists hotels that are, I've gotten feedback proven, talks about where to go for hospitals or doctors, what the costs are, uh, talks about, you know, do you need your Medicaid, uh, Part B, uh, of course you keep your A, it's, it, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, there's a lot of, and it talks about Filipinas too. Uh, the last subject is Philippines, which is the most difficult subject, but it's all in the ebook. Every, everything you possibly can. Now, if there's nothing that's in the ebook, if there's something in particular, you might be wheelchair bound, or you might want to know, hey, I'm blind, can I still make it there? Is, there, is it walkable to walk on the sidewalk? Um, and I say to people, just, just contact me. So it has my contact information mm -hmm. and my phone number mm -hmm. uh, and my uh, Facebook, so you can message me. Uh -huh. And I get a lot of messages. Uh, I get a lot of people contact me. Usually, uh, our time here is your nighttime in the States. 12 to 15 hours difference. Yeah. Depends. yeah. And, but I get people from all over the world, too. I uh, mean, I get yeah. people from Europe, I, Australia, Canada, uh, I'm just, uh, Norway, you name it. Uh, right. I get people from all over the world, but uh, they'll sometimes ask me questions that are in the book, and I just go, it's in the e-book. <laughs> That's why I created it. To right. answer all those questions, you right. just have to read it. And when you read it, if there's something there in particular you want to know, okay, uh, that, no problem, okay? Now, is obviously... In, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Is it in categories? Uh, yeah, it's table of contents. Okay. It has a table of contents. It's about 35 pages. Okay. It's all, it's all, uh, it's all on Word or on PDF. So PDF. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guy that's sitting in America, we'll say, and I'm contemplating my trip to the Philippines. And I'm concerned about what a throwaway ticket is. Yep. That's in there. It's in there. And I would look Where under, to get it, how much it costs, why, what to do wh with it. Why it's you, there. When do you get it, how do you get okay. it, and what it's for. Okay. Everything. And Absolutely then I'm everything. also confused about how do I, how do I, I have my social security check being deposited. Right. Or my pension or whatever or nothing, who knows. But I want to get be able to move a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month over yep. while I'm here. How do I do that? It's in the ebook. It's in the ebook. It's all in there. Okay. All the different companies, their fees. <coughs> uh, how do you do that? How you set up a bank here? Uh, why you keep your bank in the in your home country? Uh, and how do you transfer money? Uh, it's it's all there. I can vouch for the fact that we have had many discussions, and. Um, with, I've had with Goldfinger and many others about some of the major pitfalls and I've tried to do videos that have, that have reflected some of the unfortunate mistakes that people have made. Well, I was My own too. mistakes yeah, that I have made. That's why I did it. This one's a walking mistake. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, I'm the same as everybody else. I made lots of mistakes, both with girls oh boy. And, and overspending money on, on, on pedicabs or taxis when I was in right. Cebu, not knowing the exchange rate, not learning it. It even explains what the exchange rate is, how to do it, how to download a, a currency exchanger, there's several, uh, and, and how to figure it out. I mean, it's just, it's just really good basic information. Um, you know, now I don't think about it. People come to me and they go, hey, I want to go to the bank, uh, open up an account. And I look at it and I go, you haven't been here three months. I says, you need to be here at least three months. Uh, some banks require six. You need an ACR card. I explain what an ACR card is. Uh, you know, I said, you know, you can, but you don't, can't open a checking account. If you walk in there and you say, I want to have a checking account, they'll say, I'm sorry, you're a foreigner, you can't have a checking account. They don't tell you, you can't have a savings account. Right. Okay, it's just how you say it. Right. So you can have a savings account, which has a card associated to it, and you can use the card at any, at any ATM for cash or to pay for bills. But you can't have a checking account. And they don't understand that. They just say, no, you can't have a checking account. You're not a citizen. And the guy gives up and walks away. Yeah. And right. that's, that's the point. And, and so, so here's another example I learned yesterday. You have to say yesterday. the right word. I learned this yesterday. I did not know this. A friend of mine, Monty, traveled by ferry to Cebu. 
got caught up in the storm, got hurt, waves crashing, uncomfortable yep. bench, this, that, the other. I never knew this because I'm not a fan of the ferries, but they have a, 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 it's not called this, but it's the equivalent of a business class. And so, yes. my, you know Dexter, you know yeah. Dexter? Okay, well, it was at dinner with Dexter the other night. Dexter said that he went to go buy a ticket on the ferry and they said, no, sir, I'm sorry, we're all sold out. Yeah, but they were not on business But class. guess what? <laughs> and so everybody was leaving. And now this is guys that are like on the whole, and they go up to buy the ticket and they say, we're sold out. They turn around and leave and go check into a hotel for 2,000 pesos right. a night. Turns out that there's business class is empty, but they don't tell you that because it's another 150 pesos and to the the teller or the the ticket person that's all the money in the world you like no be, one buys that you have to you know, know it's so expensive it's and so they what they say and what reality is this will give some boots on the ground experience that can end up saving you not only time hassle and money but primarily the time and the hassle of being flipped around going away when in fact there was a perfectly good seat yep. on that freaking ferry and this and happens all the time hi like uh and you have a dog so you did you, did you talked about who's the uh, the brother of my dog Yippie. yeah and so and, and you know that was a whole subject too what how do you travel with the dog there you go and that was a whole big subject on that okay and they turned me away and wouldn't let us on the on the only because we said the wrong thing okay uh <laughs> You have to have it. We had a cage, but it wasn't it wasn't their approved cage. When we went there beforehand, they said, "Oh yeah, that's fine. fine." And then when we got there to the ship, the ship Not captain fine. go, "You ain't bringing that dog on in that type of a cage. You have to have a different type of a cage." Like, oh my God, seriously. So it is. There is very a lot of confusion, and so now I know, uh, basically, a couple thousand in the in the and the handshake to the captain got us to Bahol. And then, we, behold, we bought the proper cage to bring them back. So we didn't have to, the cage was less than a thousand, to be perfectly honest. Right. I wasn't about to, we already had the ticket. If you don't use your ticket on the day that it's, there's no refunds. There's no refunds on That's tickets. That's correct. So I, I, said, so I, I just said to Carolyn, she, she was getting all upset because we're going to lose two tickets to go to Boho. And, I, and I, I said, can I speak to the captain, please? And so you contributed to the fund. I contributed to their... Health their marine welfare. time Health welfare fund. Yeah. I thought that was very great. Nice, gracious of you. And he was so gracious that he allowed yes. us to take the dog yeah. since we were given the wrong information. Right. But this is the way it is in the Philippines. Now, the Philippines is great. I get people that all they do is complain. Okay? This didn't go good. That didn't go. Okay. You can look for problems if you want to. The Philippines, on the scale of 1 to 10, is a 9. It isn't perfect, okay? It's, it's up there, eight or nine. The thing is, there's so much good that outweighs the bad, okay? That if you want to look for bad, you'll find it. But if you look at overall the good, you should come on down here. This, this place is Shangri-La. It's, it's great in the Philippines. That's what I say in my book. It's great in the Philippines. Well, I also want to emphasize that the e-book is fairly well focused on Dumaguete, yet it applies to anybody that's it just does. coming to the Philippines. So That's you're going to find that it's sort of city specific, but in the general stuff, right? Like like transferring money, what to bring, airfare, clothes, airfare, uh, banking, banking, all that. Uh, the banking, it, however, can change island to island. I found that to be true. Well, um, but but the transfer part is the same. It's okay. just a different name of bank. But the throwaway ticket's not going to change. No. Um, so it really applies. The visas. Uh, and there and the, and 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 the quagmire you can get into with no, that. It applies to all and the Philippines. It's and, all Philippines. And I call the Dumaguete for dummies because in there is specific some hotels that are specific, some right. restaurants that are specific, right. some uh, emergency phone numbers that are specific to Dumaguete. Uh, but overall, most of the information applies to all of the Philippines. Right. So if you're not coming to Dumaguete, no problem. Get the book. It helps you a lot. It will save you money uh, and aggravation. You know, people go, oh, I can, I can go get the ticket when I, when I show up in Cebu for the uh, throwaway ticket. And, and, and you'll have to learn what a throwaway ticket is. But basically, you can't come into the country unless you have a show that you're leaving the country within the 28 days, okay? Uh, basically, you don't want to wait until you show up here to get it because now you don't have Wi-Fi. 
and you're, you're under a lot of stress already with your luggage and trying to get through customs. What about telephones? <laughs> Telephone numbers, have you uh, covered that? Uh, yes, I cover uh, how to get a SIM card, how to get a, a Philippine, there's plans, uh, you've got Globe, you've got Smart, uh, which one I prefer, but there's two serv major services. There and is the third. importance of keeping an international plan what? or some sort of deal where you can get a phone number from the states, at least, I say, for the first 30 yes, days. Yes, you should keep a phone number. Because when you transfer money for the first time, your bank or the transfer company is going to call you. Yes. And I have known two guys, three maybe, um, that got into a quagmire because they went to move the money. And the first time you do anything, they have security checks in place, which is good. It's protecting our money. But if you don't have that freaking phone number still active, your American phone number or whatever you plugged into uh, the, 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 right. the company, then you are, you're going to be in a world of hurt. You're going to be two months of emails and borrowing money from everybody. You're really best to get a second phone, not a phone with two SIM cards. It gets confusing with two SIM cards and you'll miss calls one way or the other depending on which SIM card you're on. I don't recommend a phone with two SIM cards. I recommend two phones. It could be an inexpensive phone when you get here uh, and you can buy it when you get here and get the, a Philippine SIM, which is a Philippine phone number. And, and, and not only do you need a SIM, but you need to buy a package which, which will get you what you need for either calling the states or just texting or voicemail in the Philippines. There's different packages available, and um, it explains all that. And one thing I want to add that I just learned from a friend that I talk to all the time, I've never met him in person, I'd love to, but he's a wealth of knowledge. He just explained to me, when I, I told him my passport's up for renewal here pretty soon. Right. And he said, you know, Paul, you can order two passports at one time. Did it, you know that? No, I did not, actually. See? I didn't even know that. There you go. Now they know that. And I thought that is brilliant from because when I country? yeah you can get two you just pay the extra fifteen dollars or whatever they're charging really? you for the passport they'll give you two copies of it well, that's a good he idea. says he's been doing it for 20 years because when I went to Thailand when I saw you there when I went over to sit, stay with Gary I thought I lost my passport I had left it with the motorcycle rental place so I didn't but I had that 24 hours of doubt well, and pain before they opened we're the up to vis the, <laughs> We're up to version 26. We're now going to version 27. We need to add that information. That, because I actually find out information and I redo yep. the ebook and add. So under there passports, I'm going to have to get really on some more information on okay, that. Okay, and I'll, do, I'll give you a little insight right now. You can also get a passport card. Yes, I don't know. Now the card will not get you through immigration. No. They want the book that they can stamp. But if you do lose your passport and you have the card, it expedites the, the, the process of getting a replacement right. passport. All right, so well, we've covered quite a bit on we this, did. I thought. Your uh, ebook is available. It's uh, Goldfinger the Goldman one at gmail.com. Oh, good for you. I'm gonna have <laughs> May put that Please. in writing across this script. If you script. have questions, contact me. Yes. Because Paul honestly won't answer you. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, 100,000 people. I know 2,000, okay? I can barely keep up. I get four hours of conversation in the morning, four hours a night. I have 2,000 people I have contact with. You know, when I came here, I had 12 contacts. Yeah. I'm at 2,000. With 100,000, I just said to them, how do you answer everybody's questions and, 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 and emails and, and, and texts? And, and my response was, I don't. <laughs> I don't answer. I just don't. I can't. So, I, I don't so, have enough hours so in the day. Well, that's why he tells people to contact Goldfinger. I said, to Goldfinger. <laughs> that's fine. I don't mind. I have time. Yeah. So let's, let's get back one more time on the tablet here for the kids. Yes. All right. So the tablet for the kids, that's uh, the ongoing. The cost um, of the tablet, uh, the whole kit with a, it comes as a package with the mouse, the keyboard, and a stylus to draw on uh, is around $75 from Amazon. Uh, I placed an order for 24 more okay. two days ago. Uh, the, uh, the whole thing with the, I'm gonna give the teacher a actual uh, uh, laptop so he can control everything and a big screen TV. The whole project is, looks like it's gonna cost about 300,000 pesos which is about 33,500 USD. Okay. Okay? All right. uh, and we're working on it. Okay. And uh, 
And so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to have put, a guys help uh, set it up. IT guys, mm -hmm. they know how to hook it up with the with the Wi-Fi and, mm -hmm. and, and connect them all to the to the laptop. We're going to show up with the power cords, the, the power strips. Uh, I got covers to cover the, the power strips on the floor so the kids don't trip over it. Okay. A bracket for the TV, the whole bit. And uh, it's going to be a great setup. And this is going to be the first one. Expect to be problems, okay? Oh, always. Okay. But I honestly spend about 300,000 pesos when I do the helmets. Yeah. So the cost isn't any more. And I think the value is better. Way. Way better. Way better. Because so, like we, when, when you did the helmet drive, that was awesome. We were doing little things to cover their noggins. But we never saw any kids with any helmets Very on. few. I wouldn't say and none, but too little. 5% or less. And it was really, really, um, it was really, but it was complicated to get all the kids lined up. It honestly was a lot of work. And to decorate them, it, and yeah. to fit them, and to put them together. Yeah. And, and I, had, here, I had to put them together, and I spent hundreds of hours putting them together. I know you together. did. And okay. this thing here is something that's really, really going to advance the it, it learning. It works right out of the box. And boom. You know? um, it's something that helped bring at least one school here in the Philippines. So we're going to start up with to, uh, the up to the level it should be. Uh, uh, the, the, the principal, Mary Grace Pyra, is aware that we'll be coming December 18th. Uh, Santa's helpers to do to give them something special, be a surprise. Um, and uh, we're going to start with this school, and I'm going to try to do two schools a year. Uh, that's all I could probably handle as okay. far as getting people to help. Uh, make it happen, you know. So if you guys want more information, um, really going to... Goldfinger, the gold man, won. Yeah, uh, no I want to encourage everybody to uh, to contact Goldfinger, click on the link for the free ebook, share it with your friends, anybody that you know that's coming over to the Philippines, and if you need any more information about how he's working with the schools here, he'll be more than happy to respond to your emails comments, now, questions. You, you have a lot of following and so do I. So I'm yes. going to cover a couple of things. Okay. My name legally is Goldfinger. Yeah. It's one word. Right. I do not have a first or last name. No. I did legally change it yep. in the 80s. Okay. I was a jewelry store owner operating stores in the Las Vegas and California area. Uh, that's that's one spell. So if, don't, don't be embarrassed to call me Goldfinger or say G or whatever. Okay. And all those people that want to make fun of me being fat, yes, I know I'm fat. No big fucking deal, okay? But, but I'm working on it. I still swim every morning. They ask me, Do I, are you swimming? Yes, I swim. I, I watch what I eat, but sometimes and, I'm watching me eat the wrong thing. And, and he's watching it for a long time because <laughs> yeah. that's a big fight. Uh, you do lose weight in the Philippines. You know you lose yeah, weight here because yeah. you do more walking here. Yeah, you do. And the food is fresher. Yeah. But especially fruits and vegetables are yeah. fresher. And they don't have all the additives, okay? They're not big on beef here. You can get beef here, but they're mostly big on chicken and vegetables and fruit, fresh. I would debate the food thing with you all day long, but we don't have that kind of time. Okay. All right. So that's it, kids. That's our little video. We wanted to bring you up to date with our favorite guest of all time, which is Mr. Goldfinger Thank over here. Thank you so much, guys. And I love you. He I is the benefactor you. to awesome. a lot of kids here in, in the Philippines. He is one of the guys that's trying to make a difference, as small as it may be. And there's my wife in the background there she is. doing a TikTok video while we're doing our video. <laughs> okay, so we uh, we we don't waste the we don't waste the moment. She's already. Look, look, at her. look at her. She goes. We can see you in the video. <laughs> I gotta tell you, she steals a lot. Wait a second. Look how cute there goes there goes my wife. Look how cute she is. <laughs> she's awesome. Okay, that's it for us, kids. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.